going to show you how to make the Bombay Sapphire Ultimate Gin and Tonic. And to do this, we're going to grab a nice big large burgundy wine glass or Copa de Brun glass. Then we're going to fill it completely full of lovely cubed ice. So I'm going to grab my bar spoon and I'm going to swizzle the ice around the glass. This is going to chill the glass. We have uh, melted some of the ice. We've got some water in the bottom there. So I'm just going to grab my trusty Hawthorne strainer and I'm going to pour this water off into the sink because we don't want too much water in our gin tonic. It's got to be at the gin, the tonic, and the fresh fragrant lime. Now we want to get a garnish. So grab a, a lovely large lime and our knife. And then a lot of people cut their lime from top to bottom around like this, or they cut it in slices through there. What I like to do is cut it straight through the middle, through the equator, again through the middle of that, turn it over and cut the lime at a 45 degree angle. That way you get more juice from the lime when you're squeezing it. And that'll bounce between the gin and the tonic. So that's our lime garnish. We've got our glass ready. We're gonna take this wedge, just give it a little gentle squeeze over the top. And then we want our gin. And we like a ratio of one to two. So that's one part gin to two parts tonic. So I'm gonna pour in 50 mils of Bombay Sapphire. And that goes, pour it over the lime there. It's gonna to start to get some of those lovely lime juices falling into the glass, give it a quick stir, just to bring it down to the temperature of the ice. And then we want our tonic water. So we grab our fever tree tonic water, it's lovely. There's no artificial flavorings in it. It's all natural ingredients. And rather than just gushing this tonic over the top of the ice, I'm actually gonna put the top of the bar spoon over the top of the bottle, put my thumb on top, 90 degrees into the glass, pour the tonic water down the bar spoon, and this is gonna help retain the effervescence in that tonic water. Because the whole point of a gin tonic is going to be bright, fresh, vibrant, tantalizing, refreshing. Any more descriptive names I could come up with, I'm sure there are some. And then we pour that round, half the bottle, so it's 50 ml gin to 100 ml of the tonic water. And that for me is the quintessential classic ultimate gin tonic. Cheers. Ah, oh, amazing. On a sunny day like today here at Lavasit Mill, it's really long, refreshing, vibrant. You get all the botanicals in the gin. You've got that chinchona bark and the tonic water with the lime complementing. It's just delicious.